Now, I really want to dive into this one, bro, because the video isn't really about, well, okay, the video is about like Ninja taking slick shots, but what I really want guys to understand of, you know, you just got to accept defeat is because there's always going to be somebody better than you, right? So I want to really talk about this. And I was thinking about it earlier at the gym. When I was in high school, bro, I just wasn't it. I was dark skinned, very skinny. Um, I didn't have that drip. Well, back then they, they call it swag, but I ain't really had that drip back then. My mindset was really blue pill. I, I couldn't get the girls that I really wanted until like senior year ish, but it just it just wasn't clicking for me, right? And I had my best friend Drake. I mean Drake, <laughs> Dre, and it was another good friend of mine. His name was Josh, right? Light skinned dude. He was younger than uh, me and Dre was, right? But he just, you know, no homo. He was, you know, he was a handsome dude, right? I, you know, we, ain't anybody back then, yo, he, he was getting all the girls, bro. He was getting girls in his grade and he was getting all the um, the senior chicks because it was just, he was light skinned. He just had those features, man. And he was getting them, bro. He was, he was really getting them. And... I just was like, dang, man, that's crazy how he was getting girls like during 11th grade and 12th grade, man. And they, they was like, they wanted to go to his house. They want these girls wanted for him to go to their house. And, you know, he was he was swimming in something, you know, what I'm saying he was he was getting a lot of chicks, even when. Facebook was popping, bro. He would have a lot of chicks on his wall. Like, just comment, give numbers. You know, he didn't have to, he did the very minimum. He didn't even have to talk. It was just, he had that aura, right? And this is not no glazing or this ain't no hating or anything like that. But I just couldn't hate on him because it was just like, wow, you know, he got it. And I was just like, dang, you know, bro, got it like that, bro. And instead of me being a hater, I was always saying to myself, yeah, and my and my best friend Dre too, bro, like, cause they were cousins, and they were just getting all the girls. They were always just like in the hallways talking to them and everything. And I was just, I was the dork, bro. I was the Halo kid. I couldn't, I wasn't, I wasn't winning, bro, right? I just had to accept defeat, right? So, instead of, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit tired too, so I'm like talking a little slow. Instead of just being all mad and want to fight a dude and want to curse a dude out and get mad at women because they all flocking towards him, what I did was I always did this thing like studying or, you know, image hacking and stuff like that. So during those times, I would always be on YouTube. I would always be on the Internet looking at fashion um, videos, magazines. The Cool Kids was definitely a rap group I always looked up to because the way they dress and how they carry themselves. New Boys was another thing. Uh, sea Breezy. You know, a lot a lot of the rappers and, and just like studying the fashion. And I was always telling myself, you know, dang, if those guys can get their drip up and, you know, get their personalities right. And I can implement those things and be a better version of myself. Right. And. And I did that, you know, it took me a long time to do that because you know, money, 
uh, not having a car, you know, really not really having a job. But I always had that mindset of I know I could be as fresh. Right. I know I can, you know, be a better version of myself. Like like, for example, man, Dre and Josh, what did they do when they were younger? Always working out. Uh, doing push-ups and stuff like that. So I implemented that in my life, right? Um, not wearing corny shoes. I, I I love Jordans anyway, so I was getting Jordans like crazy. The jeans, I always studied, okay, what jeans fit, you know, my, fit me that, you know, work for me and it, it get, made, made me feel cool. You know, made sure always my colors was always right, right? And on top of that too, like I said, my 11th and 12th grade year, I switched my mindset. I was like, you know what? Let me start being cool with females instead of being a dork and being quiet and stuff like that. And those things like that, and honestly, too, as I was just growing up as a young man, still still learning, I always wanted to improve in, in stuff like that, right? <clears throat> Let me get some water. So... When I did those things, I was increasing my confidence. Meanwhile, everybody else was trying to bring my confidence down, but I always knew it was in me, right? And I did those things. And as, um, you know, after high school and stuff like that, I was taking pictures with the crappy Blackberry and all that stuff, but I was getting respect from those two dudes because it was like, man, okay, Stefan, you know, he get news, he get, you know, he, you know, he can dress and stuff. He can, he's going out to parties and stuff, you know, now, cause you get a little bit of money, you know, you do your 40 hours at work, you pay your bills, you know, if you in college, you do your college work, you can go out and have fun and enjoy life and stuff like that. Right. You don't sit there like a clown and be a hater. Like a lot of you dudes do. And you wonder why your life sucks like that, because that's what I'm like witnessing from a lot of dudes, even back then. A lot of this hate mentality, man. Is destroying dudes like when you hate you bash, you bash on the next man, you. You want to. um hurt the women because they not liking you and they chasing this dude. All those things that you're doing is just slowly destroying your life every single time. You get what I'm saying, fellas. When you do these things, you destroy your life. You're not increasing, you're decreasing your your health. You know, you're decreasing uh in experience with your life, man. And because of wanting to dress well, and always wanting to be the most freshest out there is the reason why I got into modeling, man. Everything works in full circle because of that mindset switch. You know, it took me a long time, but the person I am today is because of what I was so passionate about. And then I was figuring out, okay, if I could dress and I can, and I have my own style and stuff like that, I can use this to make some money get monetized and stuff like that and i took it to a whole nother level now my best friends they grew up they got kids and all this other stuff like i've seen josh recently well not recently i've seen his facebook and i see he got married and stuff like that and so did dre i always talk to him that's my brother but me Using those two dudes as like inspiration, man, it took me to a whole nother level all because I was ambitious and, and wanted to do more instead of me looking at him and hating on him. I said, you know what? I'm sick and tired of being here. I want to be up here. And that's what I wanted to do. I always wanted to grow and be better.